Hi beauties, welcome back. We have another unboxing today and this is a seasonal subscription box that we get every three months. This is of course my FabFitFun. I gotta say, I got a very weird relationship with FabFitFun. Honestly, we've had it for two years now, I believe, um, or maybe just over a year. Maybe we've gotten like, like just past a year. And so maybe it's only been like five boxes I've received, whatever. I feel like every other box I love and then every other box I'm very disappointed with, which is why I will not commit to the year subscription. Um, because it's like $200 up front because these boxes are 53 a piece after shipping. I haven't been disappointed enough to not think it's worth it though. And after seeing our customization choices for this particular box, I'm very hopeful that it's going to be a really strong finish to the year. They give you, if you're just like a standard month to, or season to season subscriber, they give you, I think three choices to customize. And a lot of times I'll get the choices and I'm like, I don't really like anything. This time I was struggling in each of the categories to pick out which part I liked better because they had a lot of stuff for the house. They had a lot of good makeup and skincare stuff available to me as well. And with us about to move into the house, I was like, well, what do I need? So yeah, I'm very hopeful. Um, and I'm really excited because it's a huge box. It's like one of the biggest I think we've seen so far. So, um, so yeah, without further ado, let's see what I got. I remember, I think, I think I got a headband. I think that was one of my choices for customization and I don't remember shit else. Like I just have the worst memory. Um, and this was like a month ago. So who knows what I got. All right, paper away. Um, of course they always give us like uh, some random goodies. Just, oh, they gave us a lot of goodies this time. Oh, we'll, we'll go through that in a minute. Uh, they do give us a book. This book kind of has like a rundown of uh, the prices of the products in it. So we'll save that for the end when we're going through to see how much the value of the box is. And it also gives you like, you know, some cool articles and some stuff like this. Here's how you can use this product and all this kind of stuff. So um, I do like that they do it. And I think it's kind of a fun way to do it instead of just giving you like a little card because there's so many choices of, of products that you could wind up receiving. So just really quickly, let's see, let's get a rundown of what it is that uh, that we got here. So first thing I see is we got a kind bar, like a little mini version. That's cool. I always love food, so I'm not gonna say no to that. Uh, they pretty much always give us like a HelloFresh coupon, uh, Bright Sellers coupon, which is like a wine subscription company. Oh, this is like a, this is cool. This is like a little 15% off postcard that you can send to a friend who isn't subscribed to um, FabFitFun. And then this is, Looks like a coupon for a 14 day trial to HBO Max. So yeah, they gave us like a nice little bundle to finish off the year of like add-ons. Those aren't even like part of the thing. They're just like, all right, here you go. What do we have? There's a lot jumping out at me. Oh, okay, I do remember. So this was my first customization choice. I'm pretty jazzed about this. I actually have, I have a very cute little mirror that I use to film. This is an LED based mirror though. Um, and that other one is a lighted mirror, but this one is like a, a nice one, a really fancy one. And I think it was like a $99 mirror or something like that, which I know my cheap little Conair one was like $30 when I bought it. So this probably is like a very fancy one. And I'm excited about it. It's uh, Impressions Vanity, which Impressions, if you guys know anything about the company, they do these gorgeous like lighted mirror setups and everything like that. And they are really pricey. So I was actually really jazzed to see this as one of the choices. I know I think I had like a choice between those and like some Lily Pulitzer mugs. And I really was trying to decide what I wanted, but we have a lot of coffee mugs. So I went with that and I'm very excited about it. And the next thing I, this is what I know I chose. Oh, that's a hair. Is that my hair? Is that somebody else's hair? I'm not gonna think too much about it because I don't want to know the answer. The next thing we have, this is so cute. Oh, I, really I wear headbands all the time. Um, partially I think because I don't like the shape of my head fully. And so I want to cover it. I had the choice between this and a Laura Geller palette. And I would normally would choose the palette, but I really love this enough to be like, no, I want this. And I can buy Laura Geller's makeup whenever I want. I don't know where I'd find that. So, and this is Lele Sadoi, I think is the name of the brand. That's what it seems like, but it's really cute. I'm, I'm jazzed. I'm gonna try, I don't, don't want to mess up my hair, but I wanna, how's it look, Nikki? Is it cute? When I'm actually like trying to, to wear it, I will try harder to make it look more cute, but I like it. I'm very excited about that one. Oh, okay. I think this is the last thing that I chose. I'm trying to remember the three and like what the choices were. I know one of the things I had a choice between was like wine flutes. Um, but the thing is we're building a bar and we have so many drink glasses that I was like, we really don't need them. 
So I believe that I wound up choosing, I, I can't remember if I chose the mirror over the wine flutes or the mugs, but whatever, whatever I didn't choose the mirror over, I chose this Vera Bradley makeup case over the other glass set. We had two choices of glass sets, so. And yeah, really cute, nice little like front pocket that you can put brushes and stuff in. Um, and then inside you've got like a good amount of space. I always love, I love cosmetic cases. And I actually really used to be like a huge Vera Bradley fan. I haven't really bought a lot from them recently. I thought it was really cute and I do like the company and I like the quality a lot. So I was like, yeah, let's go with that. Those are what I chose and I'm very happy with all three of them. I, like I said, I really felt like I had strong choices for all of them. All right, the next thing we have, this is Rhythm of the Rain Hair Mask and Scalp Detox. Oh, I like the sound of that. This is a deep conditioner and you're supposed to let it set for like 15 to 20 minutes. It's silicone, paraben, sulfate, and flashlight. I can't, I never can pronounce that word, but I know, I, you know what it is. It's the bad stuff. It's all free of that. Um, and it's supposed to be just like a pure and soothing way to deep condition your hair. Um, I actually just talked about in a different video um, how I've been trying to do new things to help my hair and to give it more life. And I think this will be a really nice product. Plus it's huge. Yeah, it's 6.8 fluid ounces. So I think if you're thinking maybe doing this like once a week, this probably will get you quite a few uses out of it. So I'm actually really excited to try that. I'm really excited about that. All right, next thing I have is from Daily Concepts and it is a daily facial dry brush. Okay, I have been reading a lot about dry brushing and whether or not it's useful. And it, basically the concept of dry brushing is you take a very specifically formulated brush and you rub off the dead skin and some of like the surface dirt of your skin and pre-exfoliate before you wash. I think it's a really cool concept. I've been thinking about buying a body brush and so getting a face brush is gonna probably either lead me to make the decision to yes buy it or to not buy it. So I'm very excited to get that as well. Like I said, I really think this is a good bag. I mean, a good box. I'm really very excited about this. Everything I've gotten so far, I really like. Oh, I can already tell you I'm jazzed about this. I don't know the brand, but these are Paradox Los Angeles Lucky Stars Blemish Patches. I have other blemish patches. I've used these patches from another brand before. I love them. They're miracle workers. They will suck this, the life out of any zit on your face. Doesn't matter what stage it is. It could be in the pre-stage. It could be like full blown. I love them. If they work as well as the other brands does, then I'm, these are, oh God, they're lifesavers. I, I really do highly recommend them. Oh, we also got this cute little FabFitFun sticker. That's precious, I love stickers. Okay, next we have, it looks like a nail polish. <laughs> I'm not a nail polish person, as you guys can tell. I work in food service, so um, I, we're technically not supposed to wear them and I just never do. But this is a really nice little clear coat. And it's, I think, oh, it's actually supposed to help your nails look healthier, which obviously I need because I am very bad about also biting my nails. So yeah, that's, I like that a lot too. As somebody who doesn't really care about nail products, I think that's a good one for me. So I'm very jazzed about it. I told Nikki off camera, this is the best box we've gotten all year, hands down. I really like it. And see, that's my issue with FabFitFun is like, I may have disappointing months, but then you get months like this and I'm like, oh, it's so worth it to keep the subscription because I really love everything I got in this box. And I feel like it was well worth 50 bucks, way, way more than 50 bucks. All right, the last thing we got. I love these. I saw them in the bottom of the box and I was like, yes, this is so cool. These are little flexible cutting boards. And in the bottom, there's four of them and they're all different colors. In the bottom corner, it has a shrimp, a beet, a turkey, and then a, uh, like it looks like a rack of like ribs or like a Boston butt type thing, whatever. The idea is you keep them sectioned off for like every time you're cutting seafood, you only use this one. Every time you're cutting vegetables, you only use this one. Every time you're cutting poultry, you use this one. Every time you're cutting red meat, you use this one. Brilliant idea. I don't really think about it that much. I don't think a lot of people do, like the idea of cross contamination and how serious it can be, even if you wash stuff. I love the concept of it. I mean, I can't promise that I'm going to follow it perfectly because normally I just like, my goal is just like grab and then go. But the fact that there's a picture on it may help, may, may motivate me to stick to it. So yeah, I love the box. Um, I love it. I, I'm very satisfied with every product that I got. I really enjoy. So let's take a look at the, the magazine and let's figure out. All right. First thing we have, Vera Bradley Compact Organizer. It is $50. I wouldn't pay that for it. I always bought Vera Bradley stuff on sale. But I mean, yeah, that's probably like what the price tag would be. So 50 bucks there. Then we got 
Impressions Vanity Mirror, LED Vanity Mirror is $45. I'm actually shocked that the Vera Bradley is more expensive than that, but like, whatever. We've got my cute little headband. That is $49, not a, not a chance in hell I would ever pay $50 for a headband, but whatever, you know, y'all do you. Our hair detox mask is $28. The cutting board set is $19.95. The nail liqueur is $20. What am I missing? I know I've got these left. Oh, the dry brush. The dry brush is $20 and the patches are $18, and I think that's everything that we got. And that is a total of $249.95. I absolutely think that is a, a well worthwhile box this time. Like I said, I love everything that I got. And the nice thing was, is I felt like in my choices, I was given a good variety of like, beauty products, home good products, all of that. Um, honestly, it was very hard for me not to choose the champagne glasses and the Lily Pulitzer mugs because I'm thinking so much about house stuff right now. Um, honestly, the deciding factor was we have a lot in storage that we haven't seen in, in two years. So I was like, you know what? I know we have enough, we don't need those. And um, yeah, I love it. I'm very happy with this, this box. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.